in effect. All right. <clears throat> Whew. Hello. Good morning, fellow campers. How you guys are doing today? Good afternoon to all of my game junkies. Uh, good evening to the Geek Squad and anyone else that I miss that's up here right now. Um, please excuse my horrible hair. I was wearing a hat and then I lost the hat. So I'm going to deal with this. Um, as you can see, uh, two things. One, my camera is facing the opposite direction today. Uh, that's because the game that I'm about to do is on my laptop. And two, more light. Add another light bulb uh, that works now. So there's that. Um, first things first, I want to go ahead and mention... Um, I wanna, I'm trying to get this uploaded on Tuesday, but it might actually take a little bit longer to upload. So it might actually be coming out on Wednesday. But I know I promised uh, that I was going to do Dragon Quest Heroes today. I mentioned it a couple times. What had happened was, funny story, uh, the game crashed like a lot. Like every time I tried to open it, it crashed. Um, I did sort of just not get it to work. But I'm still tinkering with uh, the recording settings on my desktop, trying to get it to record and play at the same time. So it's not actually ready for me to stream yet, even though I do have the game. But I haven't played any of it. I uh, haven't even looked at the start screen. haven't heard any music. Um, I'm trying to wait so that I can do all that. That's going to be a first-time playthrough live. Um, second thing, uh, these headphones, obviously, for my laptop for the game. Uh, there's not going to be any music playing really on my end um, I guess unless this game actually ends up having some music in it uh, I haven't actually got to see a whole lot so I'm not sure so um, if you want you can obviously go to my Spotify playlist that is always uh, on the channel that you can find if not I will definitely link it in the description and uh, just listen along to some of the music with me I can't actually upload it with the rest of my audio because copyright so um, you guys feel free to listen to all of that, uh, support all of those artists, and whatnot. So today, instead of doing Dragon Quest Heroes, what I am going to be doing is playing a new uh, indie puzzle game that I was introduced to via Congregate 45 minutes ago. <laughs> um, I saw it on Congregate, I played like one level, and I was like, this, this is really interesting. I wonder if, I, if there's like a whole, because there's a prototype that was online. Um, which I'll link to the description to that, obviously that prototype game, and to uh, where you can buy on Steam. Uh, if you go to, I'll link the, uh, the actual, just the website, I won't link the Steam link this time, because it's also a mobile game. It's the same price across uh, all platforms, uh, Android, Windows, Phone, iOS, and there's a version on Steam, they're on 99 cents. Um, the Steam version is actually on sale, I think, through the rest of this week, 10% off, so it's... 89 cents. I don't know if you if you didn't have 10 cents to spare. You don't have to, um, <laughs> because it's eight, only 89 cents. So feel free to pick up a copy of that. Check that out if you do end up liking this game. Um, try not to talk too much and go ahead and get started if I can get this to come up. Okay. So uh, as you can see, the game is called Hook. I'm not sure if there's going to be any in-game music or anything. And if there does end up being in-game music, it's possible that it could end up being copywritten. So if um, because we were having problems with another video that I tried to upload to Black Ops 3 where they decided they were going to copyright all of that and be evil. Um, we're trying to make sure we don't have another uh, issue like that. We have to file a bunch of disputes just to be able to delete the video and not have any uh, strikes against our account. So I might end up pulling that audio if it does end up like that. But since it's such a small, uh, I think it was only one or two people that made the game. I don't think that's going to end up happening. And like I said, um, if you don't like the end game music, feel free to just play my playlist. In the background, um, that's what I'm listening to. My earbuds here. And without me talking too much more, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I don't know. I don't know how to start. <laughs> okay. So that was the first puzzle. Narujanika.
Okay. See, this is not capturing my cursor, but uh, I don't think. But I'm clicking on these with my mouse. But my laptop's a touch screen, so I want to see. Yes, I can just touch them. So I'm going to do that. I'm just going to touch. Okay. Um, I guess some of you might be wondering what what the hell the actual puzzle is. If you if you try to do like let's say this, yeah, uh, you can't actually pull. Um, these buttons will just pull whatever string they're attached to. So you can't pull that. So I have to do like that. It's not very complex, I guess. I'm not sure how many levels there are. Um, What the hell? Oops. That was alright. Okay. It's not bad. Well, uh, they slanted though. See, I think that work. What? What the? So, oh, what, is this just space there? So if I, oh, oh, that's, that's, that's weird. Oh, okay. So if I, Okie doke. Excuse me? That was it? Well, alright. Oh, okay, what? Now I'm curious. Oh, oh, I see. So it's like a, okay. So if I do this, that'll, that, all right. That's not too confusing. Um, okay. So. What the actual... Okay, that was in, that was kind of. Uh, what? The what? Let's see, some of these are kind of okay. Now I don't know what the heck that is. So, do I just. Oh. Okay. That 
of makes sense. What? Oh. I feel like they're just like the adding in features and it's just building up to be something incredibly ridiculous that I don't want it. Don't. It's not even. I didn't notice that, okay. What? Aha! I did it. No, no, okay, alright, so... Wait, so... Oh god, this is just, this is gonna get really, okay, um, so what, uh, what is actually connected, nothing, are you sure? Okay, I don't want that. I know that I don't want that, so... Don't, don't want that either. Yes, I do. Just not... I forgot to pick two, I picked those two. What? Okay. I feel like... Okay, dokie. So I don't I didn't actually catch which level that was. But I feel like we've done quite a few of these. Oh, no. Okay, then... 
this one. Then that one. All right, so twenty six. We are level twenty six. Holy. Uh, these look like clocks. Okay. So, should I solve one side first, or both sides at the same time? Let's, let's, let's do... Both sides. They both have the same amount of pieces, so let's do both sides at the same time. So then that's I think that's how you set up the bot the to move the uh the correct piece on the right and then on the left it would be something like that. Awesome. Okay. Then the next two would be the ones uh, connected to the ones we just removed so alright that's those two then this top portion here that's a convoluted That seems correct. And all right, and then uh, at the end, you get uh. that and I guess the opposite here like so alright so we saw both sides at the same time and now we are on puzzle number 27 and this just looks unnecessary how many switches do you need These are like logic puzzles, only depressing. Twenty-eight. Okay, I'm confused. This is like a three-way splitter type thing going on. Yep. Or yeah, they're three-way splitters, but 
So I have to That's uh, different. All right, now that 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 seems like a little. There's one button here, but That was not weird. Wait. Holy... And then... That wasn't so bad. I retract my statement. What?
Okay, that was kind of weird. What the? Okay. Um. Uh. Uh. So it's just wireless. Oh no. Oh, oh, I see. That's, uh, it's a pain in the butt. What the what? Okay. I don't know how many levels there are, but I think I might have to cap this at 40. If it doesn't, uh... Seem like it's gonna stop anytime soon. How do I do both sides of that? Oh my goodness.
Okay, so I can't do that first. I have to do the left side first. In which case... to do that and that way and I pull this stupid Wi-Fi cord thingy it'll just move the one on the left and then I can pull that one straight down now I can move the, the flat Wi-Fi thing and the and, uh, nope can't, can't do that. Then the inverted web, I think. And then that's it. Okay, I feel like at this point, I don't even know how you did that. So logically, my first step would be to push one of these two buttons. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the one on the left. Okay, that's about as far as I thought that through. I think now I can move this with that same button. Okay, cool. Now that bottom one is on the other hand. So what is this on the, on the left here? Because I don't... So if I push this flat wireless one, it will trigger this inverted wireless one here and I don't want to do that because that would literally activate like everything on this thing so I'm just gonna push this other button Okay, that's that. Uh oh. What is that? What are those? Okay. So I have to trigger uh, I feel like if I push this button it's gonna mess up, but nothing happened. Oh right. Duh. Okay, no wait, hold up. Uh, 
I don't want to push it. I'll push it. Okay. Oh, those are lies. I haven't really been using multiple lives a whole lot, so... Oh, I see. Okay, all right. Wow, that's crazy. Okay, um, I said I was going to cap it at level 40 if I didn't really see if there was going to be an end. I don't quite know how many levels there are. If you want to see the rest of the game, obviously, um, you can go spend 89 cents and play it on uh, Steam, iOS, Android, or your Windows phone. You can also uh, just go on congregate.com. Uh, I'm going to link to the website. The game actually has all of those links uh, nicely put up there. So you guys can click on any of those links uh, to support them however you want to, or you can just go play for free on Congregate um, and just enjoy the little prototype of the game that this game is based off of. I uh, hope you had a good time watching me play Hook. Um, it was kind of interesting. Uh, I do like it. Um, sort of a... I don't know. I don't, it's an it's an interesting uh, idea of a type of puzzle that you can do. Um, interesting idea of what you can do that. I would probably go ahead. Uh, and the the music in the background was actually pretty interesting. Um, if you guys actually do end up being able to hear that on the video, um, it's a pretty interesting sort of ambient thing. The idea of adding all the different controls and whatnot into the puzzle as you go along to make it more and more complex without, you know, adding more and more triggers. There's only, in the later levels, there's still only one or two buttons, but there's multiple ways that you can trigger the same type of uh, effects. Um, having all the different sort of switches up there to make it more like a logic puzzle and still have the interesting things like having uh, the wireless, you know, thing that you could do that will activate multiple points at one time. Uh, having the break points in there is a really nice feature. So, uh, I think... That's all I really want to say about it. Uh, I do want to rate it. Based on um, the the actual the gameplay itself, for the concept that it is, it's actually really good um, playability. The music, the sound in the background is really good. The sound effects that they chose were actually really in, uh, good sound effects. They're not, you know, like an intriguing beep or anything. If you get stuff wrong, it's not... Um, like a failure screen or something like that. It's just a little light flash. One thing, uh, problem is that 
before they introduce the the lives that you get uh, after we got to level 40, as soon as you you know push the button wrong, it sort of fades out and you have to start the whole puzzle all over. That's perfectly fine. Um, but it would be, you know, easier if you just push the button and they, you know, they pull back and they click and they didn't work and they just reset. So that way you don't have to go through all that time of just flashing the screen bright and then going back to whatever it was originally. So, that, uh, detract from a little bit, but like I said, once you get later on in the game and they have the little lives there, you can just sort of go, oh, well that didn't work, and instantly, you know, keep trying, um, and having it, obviously having what the level resets entirely is a good thing so that you get a feeling of accomplishment when you finally do complete it. I'm not saying they shouldn't reset the level, just not in the way that it did it. Um, but other than that, it was a pretty good uh, indie game, especially since it only had uh, like one developer. It's based off a little side project that was done on a prototype of a Kong V8 game that was uploaded a while ago. And it's very uh, cheap. Um, I already played, you know, for about 30 to 35 minutes or so. There were still more levels, so I'm assuming there's going to be at least like an hour or so of gameplay, and that's for what I paid was 89 cents, I think that was totally worth that, so I would definitely give it, I would get 89 or 90 out of 100, um, the only reason why I would hold back on uh, giving it a higher, actually probably lower that down to like a 87, 86, something like 86, 87, um, replayability, puzzle games generally don't have that at all, um, once you've, like, you know, completed all the puzzles, especially if it's a short puzzler, once you've gone through all the puzzles that are there, there isn't really any incentive to go back and, you know, go, well, I already know, you know, the trick to solving the puzzle, I already know this and that, so you can just click through it really quickly. Um, if you're trying to do it, you know, as a quick run through to show, hey, I can actually do this really quickly, that might give you another 10 to 15 minutes, but in total, you're probably only going to get an hour and a half of play time. Now, compared to the cost of the game, obviously, that's really good. Um, so I'm not going to take anything off for, you know, the length of the game. I think it's a really good length, especially for the amount that you paid, uh, for a little handheld type game. But there's no replayability, uh, in the game. Um, the, the way that you're resetting, you know, before you actually get the live system, which is introduced way uh, later into the game, after you've been playing for 25 minutes to a half an hour, um, introducing that, you know, sort of at the beginning, earlier, so that you actually have the system that you created in place the entire game, is definitely something that would be make it easier to ease into. Um, obviously, the the, original, the first puzzles aren't that difficult, but still, when you do want to, you know, try out what happens if I push this button, it doesn't have to take the you know whole 15, 20 seconds to reset every time. Um, those two things, I think that's really all I gotta say about that um, because there uh, isn't any replayability and um, because all of the features that make the game fun aren't there the entire time I'm gonna have to hold back 10 or 15 points from that um, just as part of a standard but still it's up there um, giving it the, the 86 or the 87 points um, the stuff you heard, watched my previous uh, review video you already know that's basically the highest uh, that I get, I go and, you know, tell people, hey, this is a really awesome puzzle game that I just played, you know, for 20-35 minutes, and it was really fun, you should go play it, you would enjoy it, not that I don't like the game, it's just that I try to reserve those top points for games that I think are really, really amazing, and try to do something new, and look really vibrant, uh, one of the games that I do rate really highly, probably around like a 93-95 is Transistor, because not only is the story really awesome, um, the artwork is really great, it's all hand-painted and everything, and there's replayability built into the game. Like once you get to the end of the, the actual story, you can't physically have unlocked all the stuff. And there's the, re the recurs recursion mode where you can go back through and play the entire game, and everything gets upgraded and more difficult, and there's more challenges, and there's always side stuff to do. And that's still an indie, you know, small game made by the people that made Bastion. Not a huge team of people, but still, uh, comparatively. Another game, uh, a puzzler that I do like is Transplant, which I might also link at the bottom in the description, which is a, still a puzzle type game. It's more planning than this is just point and click, but it does have the similar features, easier to compare it. 
I would still rate that game higher than this, mainly because there are way more levels. You can actually see how far you've gotten and how far you have to go, and there's more concepts that are flushed out in it, and it is pretty replayable. There's different versions of doing the same thing. You can try and do finish the puzzles with less moves. Obviously, some of these puzzles, there's you're basically finishing them with the smallest amount of moves that you can every single time because there's only one or two buttons to push. So those are other things that would make it better as a game, but for 89 cents, it's pretty fantastic. So I'm going to go ahead and give it 87. Uh, that would give it give it a B plus, definitely. Um, so guys, check it out. Make sure you follow uh, me on Facebook, YouTube, Twitch, Twitter. Uh, the channel itself also has a Twitter that you can look and see whenever we're posting our new videos, we're doing live streams, and obviously you can check out both my personal YouTube channel for updates and stuff that I'm doing, and the Multi Dragon Gamers channel as a whole for stuff that the LITD Sandman show be new. We're going to be uploading the rest of the week. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you next time.